the day. Hey there, I'm Shannon, and today I am getting my head tattooed. I am so fucking nervous. I have been working myself up for this all day. Um, I've been eating a lot to make sure that I'm prepared for the pain. I've been deep breathing, drinking lots of water. So yeah, let's get going. Let's get in the car and drive to the shop because your baldy is about to become a baddie. I am so excited for this month. This is my glow up month, you guys. Fuck, let's go. I just pulled up and my heart is absolutely racing, you guys. I'm so excited, but so fucking scared. Let's go in. As we're getting the stencil ready, you guys, let me tell you a little bit about what we're gonna be tattooing today. I'm gonna be doing two dragons on my head, one on either side. Today, we're just gonna be doing the first one. This is the first stencil here. Kat absolutely killed this drawing. We're starting with the left side. I wanted both of these dragons to be similar and balanced, but not the same, so they are gonna have some slight differences. The placement of these stencils is really important, so she's taking a lot of extra time on this. This is taking longer than a usual tattoo stencil would because I wanted this to mimic the flow of a hairline, since I'm probably never gonna have hair again, this is what I'm considering my permanent hair. And after getting it lined up, we got it perfect. She actually freehanded a few more flowers on here than what you see now, but for the most part, we are ready to get into the tattoo. Yeah. Oh, don't fall off though. Do you feel like right here? you feel okay? Yeah, yeah I feel okay. Okay. <laughs> This was actually my first time ever getting a tattoo from Kat. However, I definitely trusted her because I've seen her work on some of my boyfriend's tattoos that came out absolutely dope. So I was ready to jump into a big piece like my head with her. And as you will see, she killed it. That being said, though, I'd never been in this room before, so I didn't really get any good shots this time of her tattooing. I promise on the right side of my head, you will get to see the process better. Good morning, you guys. It is about a week later now, and I am getting ready to go in for the other side. I know you guys haven't seen a lot of the actual tattoo yet, and I'm kind of trying to keep it that way until I do the final reveal, but this is the sneak peek. I'll just show you guys the front right now. I don't want to show you everything because, like I said, I want it all done first. So I'm getting ready right now. I'm probably going to stop and get some food on the way to the shop again. But yeah, this is, this is it, you guys. We're going to be done after this. Well, I'm never done, but we're going to be mostly done with my head after this. So let's get going. So this is the second stencil. I absolutely love this one as well. Like I said, it's balanced and it's equal, but it's not exactly the same. This stencil was a little bit harder to get right because it had to match the first one, just like doing your eyeliner. The second one is always harder. This side took a good three or four adjustments before we got it just right, but we eventually did and it was perfect, so. While Kat is getting set up here to start the actual tattoo on the right side, I just want to let you guys know that you should give her a follow over on Instagram because she is a badass. She absolutely killed this piece, and I've seen her kill so many other pieces over there. So give her a follow. She's an incredible artist, and I just want to say thank you to her for letting me film this and doing such a badass job on this tattoo. All right, let's get into it, guys. This side was not nearly as easy for me as the other side, and you will see it in my face. Your girl was in pain.
it. That's crazy. Yeah. Whoa. Like, Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. You're a little tricky. <laughs> yeah. It's making me like kick like a horse. Yeah. <laughs> like going <"Whoa." laughs> later after I got the second side done and we are completely healed you guys and I am fucking thrilled with the results literally this is Kat did a better job than I could have possibly asked for beyond my wildest expectations so before I keep talking let me give you guys the full 360 of everything going on here I am so stoked with the results. I feel absolutely badass and um, I'm more happy with tattoos on my head than I feel like I've ever been with any hairstyle. So I'm just gonna get out of the way the one question that I know I am gonna get down below a ton. You're probably already typing it. I've gotten it a million times in the last two weeks and that is how bad did it hurt? I actually have a really weird answer for you guys. So I did the left side first and that was not very bad. At most, at the worst spots, which was like the bone on the back of my neck, 
I would give it like a six or seven out of 10, which I mean, arguably is not fun, but not the worst pain I've ever felt. So I was prepared when I went in for the second week for it to be, you know, not that great, but not that horrible either. And let me tell you, I was not fucking prepared. This side, the right side, the second side hurt way worse. Like, I don't know why. I don't know if I just have more nerves on this side of my head since this is my dominant side. But not only did it hurt worse, but all of the muscles on the right side of my body were spasming like crazy and it was just a bizarre sensation. One that I am excited to not have to feel for a while. That being said, now that I've lived with the art for like about a week since it's been healed, so almost two weeks in total, I think I'm definitely gonna go back and add more. I need a break for my wallet's sake and also for my sanity and pain tolerance's sake, but I totally see some sort of like flame and smoke filigree going on in the front here and maybe even like my plan right now, I'm, I'm sure it's gonna change, but my tentative plan right now is like I said, that in the front and some sort of like lotus and sacred geometry mashup going on in my neck in between these two. I just want to give another huge thank you to Kat for doing such beautiful, amazing work. I mean, like, this is by far my most visible and important tattoo, so she fucking killed it. And uh, if you want to give her a follow, it would mean the world to me. Her socials will be in the links below. My socials will also be in the links down below. Make sure you're following me, especially over on TikTok. I'm about to start posting more over there. Um, I'm working on a couple as we speak. Other than that, uh, stay tuned because your girl's about to get her eyebrows tattooed next. And I don't know if I'm going to make a full video out of it, but it will definitely be over on TikTok, at least a little bit of the process. So I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Holy shit. I feel like a whole new person alien creature but i love it so yay i will talk to you guys very soon um and now that i'm feeling more like me you'll probably see a lot more of me so woohoo i love you guys see you soon bye it's shan fam shout out time and i just gotta give the biggest thank you to my vip members who have always and will always have a special place in my heart. And that includes Johnny Socket, Samantha, Nay Alyssa, Emerson, Eric Reckless, Star Harris, Hellfire Strike, Freddie Bud, and Carter Quinn. You guys are the best in the fucking world. And uh, I do this for y'all. I'll see you soon. Love you.